What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Femme Fatale's All Wrapped Up collection. This set is currently on pre-order through Femme Fatale and Butometry, so I'm presenting you guys some fresh and piping hot swatches for them. If you are curious, I do have my PPU video coming out uh, sometime today. But before we get to that, let's go through this gorgeous holiday collection. First up is Dashend Through the Snow. This is described as a cheerful blush pink curly with a sheer finish as to show off the glimmering green, purple, gold shifting iridescent flakes. And it is accented with matte glitters and raspberry, mint blue, aqua, and a bright neon pink, as well as a dash of hollow micro fine blue glitter. Quite a bit of a mouth, mouthful there. Uh, I'm going to classify this one as one of those kitchen sink sort of crellies. It's got a strong squish factor to it, and it does have a bit of a thicker type of feel on those brush strokes. So I'm going to suggest going in light to somewhat normal on your coats to prevent any sort of buildup. This does have, as you can see here, quite an assortment of glitters and flakes. So I'm going to strongly suggest going in with a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy to make this one nice and smooth. And Feeling Tremendous is a blend of holographic light blue micro glitters, a stunning teal blue purple shifting shimmer, and accented with hollow particles. So this is one of my favorite Femme Fatale finishes. These and uh, their shimmery glitters are my favorites. And this one's no exception. If you liked some of the finishes from the birthday set, uh, this one's definitely up your alley. So this is very much what I consider a true micro fine particle type of glitter. It builds up very easy and it's got so much luminosity to it, but it dries down very flat and very textured. So again, you're gonna wanna finish with a good glossy top coat and a glitter smoother. And Happy Holidays is described as a sheer warm mink gray crelly finish with copper to green shifting iridescent flakes accented with matte glitters in forest green, periwinkle, and a stunning holiday red. This also has a dash of holographic micro fine copper glitter scattered throughout. So this does have a very crelly formula, very similar to that first one dashed through the snow. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest two to three coats, depending on the length of your nails and the strength of your free edge in terms of how uh, prominent it is. This does also dry down quite a bit thirsty for a crelly. So again, I'm going to suggest a thicker top coat or a glitter smoother. And Let It Rain is described as a slightly blackened blue jelly base with a glimmering blue pink gold shifting shimmer and hollow flakes. A really glowy one in the set. Very pretty. If you are a blue lover like me, uh, if I had to pick two out of the set, it would be this one and Feeling Tremendous, that uh, micro fine glitter. Really pretty colors. And when you build this one up, it's got that really nice glowy sort of depth to it. For opacity, I'm going to suggest three coats on this one. Even though on this nail, I still have that um, that gel repair going on, so you're not really able to see my free edge. On my other fingers, I think it gives you a better idea that this one definitely needs that third coat to build it up and really pack a punch for that shimmer effect. Again, I'd recommend a good glossy top coat. And next up is Treacho Elf. This is described as a lovely taffy pink crelly with sheer finish as to show off the luminous blue purple pink shifting flakes accented with matte glitters and periwinkle raspberry neon pink and sunflower yellow as well as a dash of hollow micro fine pink glitter. So again, we have this uh, really loaded up type of crelly finish. I think what catches your eyes the most, I really personally liked myself, was those blue iridescent flakes. You can definitely see it coming up through my layers. So a nice pond effect because this does have that true sheer milky sort of delicate finish to it. And I think three normal to lighter coats is perfect. If a free edge line bugs you, you're gonna wanna finish with a uh, base corrector of some type. And next up is Slay It Isn't So. This is described as a soft turquoise jelly that builds into more of a crelly filled with antique gold flecks. I do agree with that description. It absolutely starts off as a very sheer jelly, but as you build it up, it does have that appearance of more of a crelly sort of finish. I'm gonna suggest three coats for this one. Again, it's very light, and I would almost strongly suggest a color correcting base coat as well on this one. And you'll see that on my other fingers as well, that it is a very delicate finish. So for that full coverage effect, I would suggest some type of um, base coat that's opaque. 
And next up is Snow Cheeky. This is an opalescent light blue base with pink sheen filled with silver hollow hexes and pale pink matte accent glitters. So this is what I would describe as my second Femme Fatale favorite finish. This one and then that, that glittery one. Really just, it's one of those brands that I, in my opinion at least, does kitchen sink polishes so well. You can easily see all the components that are in it, whether it's the shimmer in the background and then the glitters and the flakes off to the sides. Um, really, really nice. So this one, I think three coats is perfect for it. Uh, per usual on this type of finish, you're gonna wanna use a good glossy top coat and in my opinion, a glitter smoother underneath because this is quite thirsty and a little bit on the chonky side because of those larger glitters. But the glow and the glitter payoff is so wonderful. It's really striking and really obvious for all the components in person. And next we have the color of the month. This is Christmas Quackers. This card was a cream base with various colorful glitters. $2 of every bottle will go to the SCIA, a nonprofit that works with people with spinal cord injuries and other physical disabilities. And that also goes for those uh, shopping at the um, stockists as well. So this has a very uh, creamy type of formula to it, but in my opinion, it does have a slight tendency to streak. And I honestly think that it's just because there's so much heavier type of glitters here. Just go in light. It does self-level pretty well. So um, I think it's very forgiving once you go in with a glossy top coat of some type to smooth everything out. Now, this is what I would consider a true nude on myself. So whether you have warm undertones, cool undertones, etc., cetera, uh, it's definitely gonna play up against your skin tone. And I'm gonna suggest careful placement of that glitter on your final coat. And lastly, we have the Fiend of the Month. This is Santa Paws. I so love this one. The name and the glowy finish to this one, hands down, my favorites. I love these types of finishes. So Santa Paws is described as a sheer blueberry jelly with prominent red to gold to green shifting shine and holographic flakes. This is another type of finish that back in the day when I collected Femme Fatales, uh, definitely up my alley. So to me, they will always remind me of the more complex finishes. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest three coats on this one. So you can see how nice that buildup is. Beautiful, deep, what I would consider a midnight blue type of base, very vampy, but you can obviously see that there is a touch of that blue undertone to it. And overall, the shimmer is very, very glowy. Now, the whole set is currently on pre order through Femme Fatale and Butometry's website. I'm gonna link both below in the description box for you guys if you wanna check them out. Stay tuned, I do have my PPU video coming up today. I'm gonna be working my tail off getting that one out for you guys too. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.